Hey, WordPress fans. In this video, I just want to briefly cover how to update your PHP version. So you may have heard that there is PHP 7, uh, 7.1, 7.2, and 7.3 is even out now. And I just want to, to iterate how important it is that you upgrade. The two biggest benefits you're going to see from this, the first one is performance. Your site's going to perform a lot faster if you upgrade your PHP version to the most recent version, which is 7.3, as well as security. There's a lot of security pieces that have been fixed in the, in the more recent versions of PHP, and it's really important to keep your site secure. So if you're using anything below PHP 7.2, I highly recommend that you upgrade. Now, I would, I would prefer ultimately that you use PHP 7.3 if that's an option. There may be some themes and plugins out there that still may have some bugs or show some warnings or some errors if you upgrade to 7.3, in which case 7.2 is okay as well. They're, they're both pretty fast. Um, 7.3 is ideal, but 7.2 is okay. Anything below that, I would highly, highly recommend that you just stick to 7.2 or 7.3. So on your screen now, here's a quick... Uh, benchmark that Kinsta, they're a popular managed WordPress host, they're actually my top rated uh, recommended host. So check them out if you're shopping around for a new host. But they've done a whole bunch of benchmarks on performance to look at how much faster the newer versions of PHP are. And here it's pretty clear that especially if you're running PHP 5.6 or below, you're going to get a huge performance increase by upgrading. PHP 7.3, uh, considerably the fastest of all of them, but like I said, 7.2 is okay as well. And it, it almost becomes even more important if you're using WooCommerce. Here's an example of the, the same exact PHP versions, but this website is not just using WordPress, but they've added WooCommerce. It's even more important here, as you'll see that uh, PHP 7.3 is even that much faster than 5.6. One final thing before upgrading that I recommend you do is install a plugin called the PHP Compatibility Checker. Once you've installed and activated, activated it, you'll find it here under the Tools menu, PHP Compatibility, and you can choose which version you want to test with. So if you're planning on upgrading to PHP 7.2, um, then you would choose that option here. And then you can also choose whether you want to just scan your active plugins and themes or all of them. Now I recommend you really only have installed the ones that you are using, so you shouldn't have too many inactive plugins or themes installed. If you're not using them, I'd recommend you get rid of them. Um, but you can choose your option here, and then just go ahead and click Scan Site, and you'll get a report. Now, I'm not going to do this all here. I do want to mention, though, that this report is not the end-all, be-all. You, you might get some warnings um, or some error messages that aren't necessarily going to mean things are going to break. So there are a lot of what we call false positives that this test is going to run. But it's still a good idea just to kind of run it. You can actually download the file and save it just so you have it and, and get a, somewhat of an idea of which plugins or themes might be a huge issue. If you see a plugin or theme with a long list of a lot of different errors or warnings, then you might want to reach out to that plugin or theme developer and just ask them if their plugin or theme is compatible with whatever version of PHP you plan to upgrade. It might be helpful to ask them first just before you go through the process. So now let's dive in and take a look at how to do it. Here we'll take a look at how to upgrade your PHP version in Kinsta. This is my number one recommended managed WordPress host. I've been hosting with them for a little over two years. A couple of my sites, not all of them are on this platform, but they're, they're an amazing host. I just can't say enough good things about them. They've got plans ranging from $30 a month um, all the way up to enterprise plans. They run WooCommerce really well. Um, their support is amazing. It's available 24-7 via chat. They're just a fantastic host. Um, so if you're in, in the market for a new host, I highly recommend you check them out. They are uh, my number one rated host by far. So once you log into your dashboard, which you would do here at my.kinsta.com, you're going to uh, find the site that you want to upgrade. So I'm going to click on this one here. And then all of your sites are going to look exactly the same with this menu on the left. And I'll choose Tools. And Kinsta makes it super easy. It'll show you which version of PHP you're running right here under PHP Engine. And then you just click this Modify, and you get a drop-down, and you choose the version you want to upgrade. So this site, I'm going to go ahead and update to 7.3. They're just telling us that, are we sure we want to do it? Just make sure that, um, that all your plugins and themes are compatible. And go ahead and click Switch to PHP 7.3. So it does mention that it may take just a couple of minutes for that to take place, but it's it's not quite instant, but I mean, just a couple of minutes is all we're talking. And then you can come back and refresh this page and you'll see the PHP 7.3 is now running on your site. One of the cool things about Kinsta is that you can actually change your PHP version in your staging environment. 
as well as your live environment. So they're two completely separate instances. So I've actually changed my environment up here and gone to my staging environment. And now I can actually upgrade PHP 7.3 to here as well. So I would highly recommend in any host that you use, but here definitely in Kinsta, go ahead and set up a staging site and then put PHP 7.3 on your staging site, test everything out, make sure it works okay. And then once you've confirmed that, then you can come back up here into your live environment and switch your PHP to 7.3 for your live website. So that's how it's done in Kinsta.